All right, so obviously this was coming. If you know what a reciprocal function and you can find exact values for it, then you should be able to solve them as well. Uh, so sec theta equals negative 2, and we solve it between 0 and 2 pi. Now, we need to understand that sec theta is equal to 1 on cos theta. Now, we can uh, multiply both sides by cos theta and divide both sides by negative 2, which would give us cos theta equals negative one half. And we solve that the same way that we always do. We give ourselves a little standard triangle here. That's going to be pi on three. Uh, we look at our uh, unit circle and understand that because the answer is negative, it must be in um, this quadrant or this quadrant. And uh, pi on three, so it's going to be two pi on three as one of our answers. And the next answer is going to be 4 pi on 3. Since we've only been going for a minute, may as well do another one. Cot x equals 1. That's the same as 1 on 10 x equals 1, because that's the reciprocal of cot. Uh, now we can say that 10 x, we multiply both sides by 10 x, 10 x will come up here. And now we can say that 10 x equals 1. Uh, using one of our standard triangles, 1, 1, root 2, we can say that um, opposite over adjacent is pi on 4. And using our unit circle and seeing that the 1 is positive, it's going to be C, A, S, T, here and here. So that means that X is going to be equal to this angle, pi on 4, or this angle, 5 pi on 4. Okay, so really straightforward with reciprocals. You've just got to know which reciprocal is which. Write it as 1 over that and then rearrange, solve, solve, done.